So what do you do if you feel you're the victim of media bias? First of all, media bias does exist. It's real. There's left-wing bias, right-wing bias, corporate bias, institutional bias, bias in favor of advertising. There's all sorts of biases because the media is made up of human beings and all human beings have bias. There's simply no such thing as the truly objective individual. Rather than whine and complain about bias because everyone faces some bias, I recommend you spend even more time making sure you have interesting messages and great sound bites. And at that point, you might not love every single story, but at least you can still get the quotes you want. Case in point, Ann Coulter, the conservative commentator. There is no one who's gotten more great publicity, more mainstream media coverage in places like the New York Times and NBC and MSNBC and CNN over the last couple of decades than Ann Coulter. Is that really because every editor at the New York Times or every producer at NBC agrees with Ann Coulter and her conservative views? Well, no but they quote her because she gives interesting quotes and she speaks in sound bites. Now, I'm gonna leave it to other podcasts to debate the political merits of Ann Coulter's ideology, or for that matter, the ideology of NBC. That's not my point, but reasonable people can agree that the political values of most reporters and media people, the New York Times and NBC, are different from Ann Coulter, and yet Ann Coulter gets so much publicity so much positive attention, all of her books go to number one on the New York Times bestseller list. So I hope you see it really has nothing to do with whether reporters are biased against you or in, or in your favor. If you have interesting messages, you have interesting quotes, you can still get stories that you want out there and you can get the exact quotes you want. Now this is risky talking about this for evergreen content, but look at the 2016 presidential race. It is not yet completed at the time of this taping, of this recording, but when you look at the first year of Donald Trump's campaign, from the time he announced until a year later, he received a tremendous, tremendous amount of news coverage, it's by some estimates ten times as much as of any of his opponents. It's not because all of the members of the mainstream media agreed with him on everything. But they gave him coverage, they gave him quotes, because he was consistently interesting and spoke in sound bites, and that helped him destroy all of his primary opponents and connect with voters who liked his message. So don't just whine about political bias Get out there, have messages, have clear-cut messages, communicate your messages, do it in an interesting, provocative way, and you can get your message across in any media outlet.